In today's video, I'm going to show you how I color grade my images in Photoshop and how you can also incorporate this technique in color grading your images too. My name is Akwadidi and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. Color grading will help set the mood in your photos and give it that extra feel and presence to your images. Now let's dive right into Photoshop and start editing. So I have my image over here. As you can see, I've already done my frequency separation. I've already smoothed in the skin and I've done everything that needs to be done. As you can see over here, this is the before and this is the after. With me, I, I normally use two techniques. I use either the, the hue and saturation and then I use the selective color as well. In this tutorial, I'm going to use just the selective color and then we're going to add camera roll to it. So first and foremost, I created, let me open this one. I created a merge layer over here. What you're going to do to get this is you just press and hold Control Shift and Alt together with E. And then you're going to get a merge image like this. And then secondly, you're going to right click and then turn it into a smart object. So you can just press here and then convert it into a smart object. And what you're going to do next is you're going to come to the side let me switch this on you're gonna come to filter and then select camera roll just can see over here i already did this so let me walk you through what i did in camera roll before i actually added the selective color to it so double so i double click it and then it opens camera roll for us okay so our camera roll is open now so what I did in camera raw is I did a little bit of color corrections over here and I did some minor and basic settings over here with the shadows, with the exposure, I increased the exposure a little bit and then the contrast I set it at plus 5 just to give it a little bit of crispiness or to set the difference between the shadows, the highlights and then the midtones and then the highlights as well I decreased it to minus 5 as you can see over here and then the shadows as well i increased it to plus eight like this yeah and then the whites i decreased it to minus three and then the blacks i set it to minus 20. and then over here as clarity i didn't touch it and then vibrance i didn't touch vibrance as well and then i moved to hsl hsl is also one of the most important parts or important aspects of color grading what it does is with the saturation panel you're going to add saturation you're going to boost the colors that are already existing in your image you're just going to add more saturation to it to make it pop or to make it more brighter or saturated if i'm making sense in any of what i'm saying yeah so the next thing is the hue the hue also um, adds some kind of variations into the color it changes the color in a way the same color though but it's going to change it in a certain way depending on how you pull it back or forward that is the slider yeah that is the best way i can explain it for you to understand so i'm, I'm explaining it in my own way and i hope you understand yeah so what i did here is with the red red affects mostly the skin the skin tones yeah so i i decreased the red to minus 23 as you can see right here let's play around with it right here so that i don't know if you can see the changes when i bring it back like this the skin turns a little bit yellowish yeah but when i take it here it turns a little bit pinkish yeah i didn't want to do it too much so i just changed it or i moved it to 23 the effect is okay for me and then i left the orange the oranges also affects the skin and then anything orange in the color but mostly the red and then the orange and then sometimes the yellow are those that affect mostly the skin especially with the melanin skinned models yeah so this is what i did over here let's move to the saturation so with the saturation i moved the reds to minus 40 because i think it was a bit too much so i just decreased it a little bit to minus 40 and i think it was working perfect for me and then the oranges i i moved it to plus seven as you can see right here and then the aquas over here minus 23 and then the blues i also changed it to minus 23 there are no blues there are not so much blues in the image too but sometimes there is some kind of a blue cast on top of the image that i normally love to remove it from it because the outfit is wearing it's yellow and then the 
background is also yellow so i wanted the yellow to stand out more since yellow and blue are opposites of each other yeah i wanted to take the blue out so that the yellow will stand out more so that's what i did over here yeah so that's what i did over here in camera raw i didn't do that much just the basic corrections and then that was it let's click on ok and then open the image up in photoshop all right so back in photoshop we're gonna now play around with the selective color like i said earlier so the selective color what i normally love to play around with is the red like i said earlier the yellows and then i move to the neutrals and then the blacks and then sometimes i also play around with the white yes for a normal color grade or something not too dramatic that these are the colors that i normally play around with so let's start with the red i didn't do anything with the red because i already did everything concerning the skin in, uh, in camera raw so i didn't do too much over here in selective color so um yeah so at the yellows i decreased the cyan to minus nine and then the magenta to minus nine that's as i said earlier i wanted the yellows to stand out more i didn't want any blues or magentas or anything to be coming into the yellows i just wanted it to stand out more so i decreased that to minus nine and then minus nine to the sign as well so let's move to the neutrals the neutrals the neutrals the neutrals affect mostly the midtones of the image yeah so with this i move the sign to minus three a plus three sorry let me move it back so i see how the image is going to look like yes as you can see there's more more of a pinky kind of cyan kind of vibe and i'm not liking it so i moved it to minus three and i loved this look it looks better for me i could feel the skin and i could feel the contrast the how the background and then her outfit is complementing the skin that is the goal that I wanted. I wanted that kind of look to the image. And then I didn't touch the magenta. And then to the yellows, I uh, moved it to plus three, as you can see over here. And that worked well for me as well. When I moved it back, as you can see, the opposite of yellow is blue. So as I moved it back, you can see it's adding blues to the skin, which I don't like. The skin tone is also part of the mid-tones of the image. So it's affecting that side more so i just moved it let me just move it back and then push it forward as you can see it's adding more yellow to the overall image to her skin and everything which is not nice so yeah let's keep it to three like it was before like this all right into the blacks plus eight let me pu push it forward so that you can see how the image looks it's not that appealing well you can use this as an artistic look or whatever but this is not what we are going for so let's just move it back to how it was before what was it what was the number i think 18 was it 18 yeah, let's just keep it at 12 i think this color is cool all right so now let's move to the blacks yeah so the blacks is affects mostly the shadows so what one thing you have to understand about color grading is uh, to me is adding colors to the already existing um how do i say it colors in the image right you balancing the colors in the image to complement with each other or to play with each other in a nice way <laughs> in an appealing way i wish there's a better way i could explain it to you guys to understand but this is how i understand it and how i play around with colors when i'm retouching or when i'm editing my images and i'm hoping you could also get what i'm trying to explain over here but hey if you're still here if you're still watching me kindly like this video if it's been of help to you kind of like this video and then please don't forget to subscribe it helps me a lot yeah let's get back into the video so let me move it back we're at minus two right so let me move it to the left and as you can see it's giving it's adding more lights as you can see right here it's adding more lights to the shadows to affect the shadows more understand that is not the look we are going for so let me just move it back to minus things was minus two yeah so to minus two so this is how it's looking let me just increase it so that you see the other side as well it's adding too much dark colors to it since it's black it's black and white 
white to the left side and black to the right side so let's just keep it at minus two like it was before i think plus two and minus plus two like it was before yes and that is how i do it in selective color all right so now let's go back and this is how the image is looking let me toggle between the before and after without the colors and let's see how the image was looking before so this is without the selective color and this is without the camera roll as you can see the image is looking as flat as it is yeah there's nothing to it there's nothing dramatic or nothing appealing to the image aside just the normal editing so that is how that is why it's always good to add some level of color or play around with the colors in the image yeah so this is how the image is looking so mm, it's in a way i feel like it's a little kind of dark so i just um added i just added some um curves to it and then added a little bit of light to the image to make it more brighter so this is how my curve is also looking the s curve not too much not too less just something in between just to make the picture look more nicer so that is how i color grade my images and i know if you add or if you incorporate this technique into your colors your coloring as well i know you're gonna get some great colors from your images and all i hope you learned something from this video and i'm so glad that you stick and stay to me to this far thank you so much for your time see you guys in the next video bye